everybody, it's Jimmy Perry here from Powerlifting.website, website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information, and today I'm here to answer a question, really not a question, but to go over a topic, which is deadlift grips. But before we do that, um, I did not write this article, but I thought it was very thorough, that's why I put it on the website. Of course, if you find any misinformation or anything like that, anything that can be added, let me know. It, that's with any article, like, I just leave a comment or shoot us a message, and yeah, like, we'll change it or whatever, like, I it's necessary like that's what anything like the best way to s improve or find out what you need to improve is by going to the people who are experiencing whatever you're putting out so uh that's important um i just waved at somebody the dude just put up next to me but um this nigga's weird uh, <laughs> but uh yeah <laughs> now before you <laughs> i shouldn't have did that but uh but before we go over anything, uh, don't forget to check out the store. We have the Powerlift, the PL Wrist Wraps, and the PL Wrist Wraps. You can't use these in meats, but this is a good thing to have since we're talking about deadlift grips. We also have the PL Lever Belts, but I don't have those with me. Um, but yeah. So also follow myself and the business on social media and go check this post out once you get to get a chance to link to that will be in the description of this video. Uh, now basically this I'm going to give you a brief overview because it's a very long article it's like 1500 words or 2000 words I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that. <laughs> not for this because you can just go check the article out. Basically it talks about what the deadlift is and it's a result. It's not a really a mass builder but it is a a great strength builder because it requires coordination between the muscle groups um it also talks about why you need to read this article which is because it it's very taxing on your grip especially once you go heavy or if you do it for reps i did like a i shouldn't have did this but i um it basically I've experienced this for the first time with reps uh, a couple days ago. I did like 15 rep max with like 335 on a deficit. Um, and that shit was like on the grip. That was my first time ever actually. It feels like I was about to pass out actually. That was crazy. But um, <laughs> basically, it's very, uh, very taxing on the grip. Yeah. And then that was another reason. Another thing, like my grip was this is the only movement that. Like, as I did sets, because I was doing volume with these, and as I did sets with this, like, my grip was just, my, like, my body could handle the movement, but my grip was the one thing that was killing me, and as, as you can see, like, my grip was just being destroyed, my hands were being destroyed with this also, but that's besides the point, um, first thing he talks about is the conventional grip, that's basically double overhand, um, You'll see one. You see one hand being put like placed under the bar, and you see one hand being placed over the bar. That's mixed grip. Double overhand is basically when you're grabbing it with two hands over the bar, uh, and that's not. Don't be confused that with the hook grip where you pinch your thumb like this of the bar. My hands are kind of too small for it, and it fucking hurts. But uh, that's another grip. That's something else completely different. Um, it's the most natural grip for your body, and. Basically, it says you should use this as long as possible. I use mixed grip, but mixed grip has its disadvantages. One of those disadvantages being that it, it causes a muscle imbalance. Um, then you have the mixed grip, which is the go-to option for most people who don't do the hook grip. The mixed grip to perform. You have, like I said, one um, palm facing you and one palm facing outwards. Um, issue with it. The good thing about this is that it uh, prevents the bar from rolling in your hand. Um... Uh, but the thing is, it, it sometimes like it windmills. So as it rolls back and forth between one hand and to the other, it windmills, and that can basically mess up your lift. And that's happened to me a few times. But that's besides the point. Um, it it can create some muscular imbalances if you don't switch the grip. I don't switch my grip, but you know you got to do stuff to prevent that. Yeah, you have like a lean basically, and I think I don't think I have a lean. I'll test test the back. I'm both of my shoulders are evenly rounded <laughs> um then there's the hook grip i don't do this because my thumb it's like this right like if i can like my thumbs are my hands are small i have like baby hands so like real shit like if you, my hands look big now but like 
in relation to this cup you'll see like some most people's hands go all the way around the coffee cup my hands stop halfway this is a medium cup you get what I'm saying so basically but putting your fingers between the two putting your thumb between your index and your middle finger allows you to create a hook and it gives you basically a limitless it's called the limitless grip I don't do the shit it fucking works a lot of um, advanced lifters do it shit hurts and my hands are small no but it works though um think a couple ways to improve this improve your grip I did I do a lot of farmers I did a lot of farmers carries um, static holes you see like Ed Cohen you hold the bar to the side and just hold it like that I I, I, I did the shit I found that farmers carries work better or farmers walks or whatever the fuck they work better than these and then there's uh, grease to groove I've never done this and I didn't even know this was a thing but this is basically a farmers carry but just low low weight to warm your body up to carry high weights and then there's another thing you can use tools such as these wrist straps which you know you can't really use these in meat but they'll help you if you want to lift heavy weight and you know your grip isn't up to the task you can use these you can use bear complex three hole grips never heard of these but they, I guess these come with sticky uh, padded basically they're sticky gloves kind of Oh, they're grips that come with sticky um, adhesive stuff on them. I never use these, but I'll put a picture of them in the article because that's new to me and I'm not getting them, but they seem cool. And I might put them on the site. They seem cool. Uh, next, they have hook straps. These are straps with a hook on them, basically to ensure that the bar doesn't slip out of your hand. Again, I don't use them. Seem cool, though. Um, and that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed the content I'm putting out and you enjoyed this video in uh, particular. And subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button underneath the video to stay on the channel, I guess. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I enjoy it. I appreciate everybody who does watch the um, watch my videos. And uh, also, don't forget to check out the store. Peace. <laughs>